Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, here today to announce uh, James Lee Gale's next fight, which will be in September. We will give you the exact date on Monday because we're negotiating with venues at the moment, but it'll be uh, in, um, as I say, in September. And he'll be challenging Pietro Wilczewski, who is the super middleweight champion of Europe. Um, he's had 30 fights and won 29 of them. Um, you tell yourself, he's well regarded as a fighter and I think he's a step up from James. As we know, James in his last fight uh, was, uh, was beaten on a uh, split decision. Those things happen, you've got to move on in life and learn from, thing, learn from them. And this is what he's doing. And I've put him into a fight that I believe will uh, really focus his mind. He can't afford to slip up. Um, it's a fight that he has to win. Um, it's not a fight that he can um, get into a similar position as he did last time. You know, you, once once is enough. He knows what we, you know. He knows what happened in the last fight, and uh, in our opinion, is uh, we felt he won it. But anyway, that's that's gone. This one, he's got to win, and he's got to win it emphatically and in style, and not leave it in the hands of uh, of the judges. But this fellow right here on my left. Um, obviously, he's going to have other ideas. As I say, he's got a good record. You look at his record, only lost one fight. Um, and I'm sure that he'll be, uh, be here to ensure that um, he goes back to Poland with a belt. We will see when we announce the date. And, uh, and as I say, the future for James is in his hands. It's all down to him now. I think he's at this level. I, feel that he's a, I still believe that he's going to be the first Olympian to ever win a world title. And... This will fast track him if he comes through into that position where he'll be challenging for it, challenging for one. Anyway, we've got everybody here, including uh, Jim, who's uh, James's trainer, and, and Pietra's uh, camp. So, if you've got any questions, please feel free to do so. No, that's what I just. Oh, we know the venue. Sorry, yes, we will do. Yeah. They changed the rule about a month ago. So for those of us who are interested in rules, we jumped in and done the business. Yeah, uh, obviously it's been about seven, eight weeks now. Uh, I've had time off, I've had holidays, I've had time to think. Uh, it's out of my system now, that's, that's history, it's done. Uh, we thought we won it, it was controversial. But hey, it happened in boxing. Now I'm moving on to bigger and better things. European title, uh, a, great, a great opponent uh, in this poll, so uh, it should be good. What did you learn? Oh, I've learned, I've learned loads. Obviously, first and foremost, I will not never let someone nick the fight off me like that ever again. Uh, I made it the first eight rounds. I made it like a spa, like we was back in Dow Youth, and uh, I was moving them around. Uh, I learned my first time I ever got cut. Like I had a good round in the ninth round, and then in the tenth round I had a bad round because the first time I got cut, I kept on dabbing at it, and it was going in my eye. Uh, I learned that twelve rounds is a walk, a walk in the park. I can do that at a fast pace, a good pace. I don't have to worry about the twelve rounds. So I've learned a lot. I remember people before saying about experience and uh, you've got to get the rounds under your belt and I'll half like turn my nose up at it. But I know now that experience is key. I've had just a, I've had a fantastic 12 round there and I know I've learned a lot. Your animosity against Rose, do you think that affected you your way in box on the night? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, just that he went in there with a game plan, like a chicken, just run round the ring basically. I don't know how you can nick the fight, uh, throwing so little punches and win the title. I don't care off the back foot. They have to say that's in, that, uh, that's in the past now, Colin. That's history. I moved on to bigger and better things. Tim, think with the European title, it makes a potential Yeah, well, I wanted it straight away. Uh, straight after I told Frank I want the ring match, obviously they, they didn't want it. Uh, but yeah, uh, touch wood, I win this. I win this European title. Uh, please believe me, it's not. It's not a. It's not a walkover. Uh, he's a tough opponent. 
uh, yeah, hopefully I win this <coughs> European <coughs> title <coughs> and uh, hopefully you fight me and, and it won't be a chicken. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Obviously, I had a fantastic win winning my British title mm -hmm. uh, against Paul Smith, a good, solid pro. Uh, I think everyone was talking about me. Yeah, he's the one. Like this guy's going places. Obviously, with this Groves fight, uh, people thought I was going to win it. Uh, come out a controversial loss. Uh, yeah. James, have you, have you and Jimmy sort of analysed why you let it become his fight? Because everybody thought you were going to do so. Of course. But it, but, you know, well, I was, I was, but I just... Yeah, uh, we've been in the gym, we've worked on all different things, and this is about cutting off the ring uh, and throwing punches. It was like I was cutting off the ring, but I weren't throwing nothing. It was only until like the eighth round when Jim said, this is close, James, you best pick it up a bit. Well, I did, and in the ninth round, I had a big ninth round. Uh, yeah, so we have worked on things, and please believe me, I will not let no one, no one, nick a foul for me like that again. Listen, I hope he keeps on winning. That is the question. I hope he, he keeps on winning. Uh, I'll take this title. And as I say, after this, if there's something bigger and better, mm -hmm. I'll move on to that. I leave that to Frank. If there's something bigger and better, I'll move on to that. If Groves is there and, and the public want it and everyone wants it, I'll fight him again. But as I say, I've, I've wiped myself down. That's finished. I don't need George Groves. George Groves needs me. And that's on a serious note, really. So I've moved on now. And what's important as well this fight, not is it just a European? You know, Piazza is ranked number two by the WBO. No, he is ranked number two. And so, um, you know, he comes through that, it gets him into a situation where he may be, you know, if he wins that, maybe looking at Kessler. Well, I mean, you always say, look at some, you know, look at somebody else. For example, you look at Amir Khan. I mean, he was in a much worse position than uh, James was. He got knocked out. We all know in one round, and then a couple of fights later, was world champion. I think, as far as um, as with James, what my concern about that fight was that, really bluntly, was that the early rounds he just didn't do enough. I don't think that George done, George Groves done too much either. But he was on the back foot. Whereas I thought James would let his shots go, he'd, he, you know, he, he, I think without a doubt he'd, he'd have won the fight. And that's what it's all about. It's about, you know, of course he's fit, of course he can do 12 rounds, but it's about his work rate, it's about letting your punches go, because if you don't throw your punches, you're not going to win fights. You've got to let them go, because you score or, you're, or you, know, you may stop someone. And he's, I think, you know, uh, he realised that, he knows that, Jim's seen it, and we all know, you know, what, the, what, 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 need to be, what needs to be done. Then, you know, no one here is sitting here is stupid. We all appreciate, it. and more than any, more than anyone, you know, James is not is not stupid, and he knows what it takes now to to ensure that you know he does go out and to and to win fights and to win them emphatically. You know, not to go, not to, to allow somebody to run up there running, as he was saying, cut the ring down, don't give them the space, let your shots go. I mean, to me, that you know, on that night, the most shocked person in there when. Their hands were raised. Was George Groves' camp? I mean, you only have to see the way they reacted. Because I've got to tell you, they thought they lost that. They, I was in the ring looking at them, and their chins were down here. And then, you know, good luck to them. They, they got they got the got the result. But can't be put in that position again. He's a quality. You know, he is a quality fighter. He's a good fighter. But he's fighting somebody who's a much better fighter than George Groves. This fellow's a better fighter than George Groves. I'm telling you. So he's going to have to pull all the stops out. He can't do what he did last time. He's got to change his whole pattern of how he fights. He's got to you know, look at this. And if he wants this title, he's got to go out there and he's got to rip it off of him. That's the only way he can be able to do it. Excuse me, changes to... Um, what do you think of James' James's last fight? Did he see James' last fight? I'm translate for the translator. 
No, powiedz, powiedz że widziałem, że tak powiem, niecałą. He didn't see the whole fight. Urywkami. Uh, just you speak up, I can't hear you. Could you speak up a bit? Yeah, okay. uh, he, he didn't see the whole fight. He saw clips of, uh, of the fight. No, bo ciężka, twarda walka. It was a hard fight for him. Może troszeczkę yy, widać było, że w tej walce mieli coś z jakąś zadę, nie? że tam nie było mało techniki, mało boksów i więcej było emocji. emocji. You could see that it's probably more emotional fight rather than concentrating on technique and actual boxing itself. Myślisz o James Ray jako, jako no, boxer? Sam z szacunkiem podchodzę, bo y, szacunek się mu należy za to, że był mistrzem olimpijskim, ale to było w boksie amatorskim. He's got a large respect towards James, uh, as he was fighting and on the amateur position, he's an Olympian, so he's got a lot of respect for him as a boxer. Ale to jest boks zawodowy, to wszystko i boks... Tu jest boks, tu jest boks, ale troszeczkę to jest na innych warunkach, na innych zasadach i boksuje się całkiem inaczej. Ten dystans jest zdecydowanie dłuższy. Uh, but this is professional boxing, it's not amateur boxing and uh, there's different rules, different systems, you have to approach it differently. So he's interested to how, how the fight will come out. Czyli coś. Brak koncentracji. Zła baza treningowa. Byłem w Stanach i tam trenowałem i był, że tak powiem, nie do końca dobrze do, dograny cały team i, i złe miejsce w treningach. I wyszło to, że nie było koncentracji. Uh, the fight with Curtis Stevens, uh, it was based in America and he was training there. He didn't have a good team on board and uh, there was, basically it was uh, a lack of concentration from his side. I zadecydowała praktycznie ułamek, ułamek nieuwagi w pierwszej rundzie, gdzie później na wyboksując drugą, trzecią rundę, to ten czas był najważniejszy w pierwszej rundzie. No. And the, the key in that fight was the first round, just one punch decided that the next rounds were uh, well much weaker on his side. He got clipped in the first round. Tak, jestem po ślubie. Yes, uh, he's after uh, marriage. 10 lat. 10 lat. Ten jest together. Mam córkę dziesięcioletnią i czteroletnią, dwie córki. He's got two daughters, one ten years old and one four years old. Chcą boksować, ale wyślę je na inną dyscyplinę, na pewno nie na boks. <laughs> They also want to box, but uh, he's not going to agree to it and he's going to send them to a different type of sport. So. Uh, jesteś uh, full time pro, pro box, nie pracujesz nigdzie? Nie, nie, nigdzie nie pracuję, żona pracuje, także wystarczy. Żeby um, miała zajęcie jakieś na cały dzień. He's full time pro boxer, his wife uh, works, so he said that's enough for, for them. If you look at the. Yeah, When we watched him, I said to James afterwards, I said, like, I personally think this is going to be James's best performance of his career, because it's going to have to be. You know, it's, really it's funny you ask that question, because I was, I was anticipating that question, because 
James, I'll give you a quick example of what James just said there. That he said he'll never let anyone steal a fight from him. Well, last week someone tried to steal a sparring session from him. Good fighter, quality fighter. And he was sparring three rounds and he lasted two. And when James came back at the end of the first round, straight away, the difference is just like night and day. And I, I said to a lot of people, and I really believe this, what happened in the, the Groves fight won't be the breaking, but the making. And I really believe that. To be, to be advised. <laughs> and we got, as you look at the press, the two press packs, you'll see, coincidentally, both of them were born in Harlesden. And they both got the same date of birth. So that's obviously a, pre that's obviously a mistake, but uh, where is he over there? Curly, <laughs> Curly will sort that one out, don't worry. Um, no, it's, uh, we'll be announcing in, in due course we're in negotiations at the moment. Yeah. w tym ważne, że przyjechałeś do Londynu, żeby e, walczyć, ale że w, e, w Londynie jest bardzo dużo Polaków. Czy, e, myśl, czy byś chciał, żeby dużo Polaków przyszło na ten? No, tak, powiedzieć, że, że jestem przyzwyczajony. Na dzień dzisiejszy już e, można powiedzieć e, z 30-40 osób, z, z, sami moi najbliżsi już wykupili bilety, a wiem, że tutaj m, przy dobrym rozgłosie, przy dobrej reklamie to będą setki Polaków. He's saying that he's uh, he's he's now uh, he's uh, he's all right about uh, boxing here in London, and uh, he already a lot of his family are going to come and watch the fight, and there's going to be a lot of uh, advertising and marketing going on in Poland and probably over here as well. So he's uh, he's going to look for a few hundred Polish people to be backing him. We're, adver we're, adver we're advertising the fight in Yellow Pages. No, unfortunately not. No, na Olimpiadzie nie byłem. Miałem 270 walk amatorskich. Uh, he didn't fight on the Olympics. He had uh, 270 fights. Byłem trzy razy na mistrzostwach Europy, razem na mistrzostwach świata. He was three times on the uh, European uh, Championships. I moim marzeniem było mieć, mieć medal olimpijski, ale niestety w boksie nie tylko jest y, rywalizacja sportowa, ale także polityka. Uh, he said he's always wanted to fight. Uh, on the Olympics, but unfortunately in boxing it's not always sport, but politics as well. Well, we were, we were thinking about it, and uh, you know, thankfully that change in the regulations made it happen, and uh, so we're here, and we move very quickly, and. Done the, done the job for my man. That's what that's what my job is, and we delivered. It's it's all about your rec it's about your record as well, Pat. And I think that they they obviously appreciated how close the fight was, and it was, you know, depending on how you watched the fight, it was a debatable decision. And too bad for George Groves. You know, they were more worried about um, what David Hay was doing at the time. Are there any more questions? We're all done. Thanks very much.